on YouTube I decided to order me two mono crystalline 100 watt panels to add to my system got them on Amazon they were on sale got a pretty good deal um, there's the specs on them and the brand you see this little imprint on this box right here that's where this was pushed up against during shipment. You can see the silhouette right here. Well, when I went to open the other one, this was already torn apart. They had the boxes back to back and I didn't see it when it came off the truck. And the boxes all broke. Uh, it's all cracked right here at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. It's all broken right here. So I'm not even gonna open this one. Uh, packaging on these is not very good. Thin, you know, thin cardboard traveling across the United States to get here on a truck. Something's going to happen. The packaging's not too good on these. I'm assuming the panels are pretty good. But someone asked me what they thought would happen if I had panels shipped. And there you go. I already called Amazon and they've already sent me one. Uh, I called them this morning. All I got to do is just put the return label on this one and send it back. And, uh... It probably works. Probably works just fine. But I bought a brand new panel. I want it to be perfect, so I don't want to have to deal with that. But if you want to know what's inside the little panel, a couple diodes in there. So anyway, I'm going to add these to the 300 watts I got. Now I have 500. My whole question now is what performs better? You think these monocrystallines perform better than those Morpheus panels from Harbor Freight? Let me know what you think, but we're going to find out. And I sort of redid my uh, system here. I got rid of a lot of meters that weren't necessary because this thing tells me everything I need to know. It tells me what's coming in from the panels, what's coming out, what's being charged and all that. I don't need all those other meters anymore. I went back to parallel. Uh... I seem to like it a little bit better and it's safer tell you what 60 volts on these bus bars you know it 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 kind of shocks you a little bit at 60 volts dc it's not bad but i did feel a little bit and i'd just rather uh just stay at low voltage it works my panels aren't that far away from this system so i think we're good so anyway there it is and you know what it's saturday and look at this day Oh man, it's been cloudy and look at this. Beautiful. Ah, oh, just beautiful. But I got called into work so I can't play with it. And if the clouds are coming in tomorrow and it's gonna be nasty for the next three or four days, so we'll see what happens. But anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. This is what happens sometimes when you order panels through the mail. If the company decides to pack their stuff in this thin crap without any kind of protection whatsoever. I mean it's just cardboard. They should have some kind of hard paneling in there or something to protect them, wouldn't you think? But anyway, there you go, and uh, thanks for watching.